Okay, so the golden rule of inequalities. This is something that if, if you don't learn it and use it, you will forget, and then you'll have simple mistakes on problems. The rule is, whenever you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you must flip-flop the symbol. If you're multiplying or dividing both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you will flip-flop the symbol. We will be doing some problems using this rule today, and we're going to just write down the steps here. First step, get the variable isolated on one side of the inequality. Step two, you're going to check the order. The variable should be on the left, right? You're basically going to look at it when you get it isolated and ask a question. Is the variable on the left? And if it's not, flip-flop if needed. We might do lots of flipping of symbols with these. Step three, to graph it, you're going to circle the number on the number line. Step four, you're going to ask yourself, open or close circle? In step five, you're going to shade appropriately. and draw the arrow. So those are the five steps to solving and graphing inequalities that have one variable, which we will be doing with equation or inequalities today with adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Simplifying them is just like simplifying an equation. It just has an inequality symbol instead of an equal sign. So let's go down to the bottom of this. We have open circles when we have greater than, less than, or not equal to. This is a review of yesterday. We had this in our notes yesterday. When do we have a closed circle? When we have greater than or equal to less than or equal to, they always look like eyes when I do them like that, don't they? Oh yeah. Or if you have the equal sign. If we have an equation and we're asked to graph it on the number line, it would be a closed circle right at the number that the answer is. So the example we have on this graphic organizer is actually more complex than many of the problems we're going to start off with in a minute. So I'm going to go through the steps on this, and if you guys can follow me with this, you're going to do great on the problems today. I want to get the x by itself. Do you see that there's an, a 3x here, a negative 3x, and a positive x over here? Yeah. I want to get them together. So I'm going to subtract this x. That's going to make it go away on the right side of my inequality symbol, and on the left side I'm going to now have 5 minus 4x is less than or equal to 13. Notice I subtracted an x, but I did not multiply or divide it. What was the golden rule? 
if I multiply divide or divide. divide. Subtracting a negative doesn't change anything yet, okay? It's only when we multiply or divide. And then I have this five here and I wanna move it to be with the 13. I'm gonna subtract the five. That leaves me with negative four X is less than or equal to eight. Here's where the golden rule comes in. I'm gonna divide by negative four. What's the golden rule? Whenever you multiply or divide, divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you must flip the symbol. So I'm gonna divide by negative four. I'm gonna write it over here because I'm running out of room. Negative four divided by negative four is gonna give me a positive x. The symbol was less than or equal to, now it's greater than or equal to, negative two. And then I go through my steps. Did I get the variable isolated? Yes. yes. Check my order. Is the variable on the left side? Yes. Do I need to flip flop it then? No. Okay. Circle the number on the number line. What's our number? Negative. Well, this number line doesn't have numbers, so let's fill them in. If we make that zero, one, this would be negative one, negative two. I tend to like using bigger pens for these, especially on thick number lines like this. I'm going to circle the negative 2. Step 4 says ask, open, or close circle. What is this going to be? Close. So I'm going to shade appropriately by filling it in. And then the inequality symbol helps tell us which direction we're going, which is right. to the? Right. Okay. 